Watch the ass, she's in the fast, she's in the Louis, she's in the Gucci, she got a hype and I'm in the rap and I'm in the trap and none of them hooping. Want me to catch and see them swagging, who's she fooling? Think I'm a ladder. She with the cash, I'm in the crew, she with the bag, she with the shoes, she with the Gucci, she with the fanny, she with the pride, a little bit goose. Set on my side, she's on the copy, I'm in the mind, give me toppy. I got a curve and swerve and she ain't deserving. Pick up a phone, she was nervous. I had to leave a piece. What's going on YouTube, it's your boy T2Awesome, and we got a request from our boy VJ in the comments section for Victor Rembignana, hope I said that right, Pelicans Rebuild, and to be honest, I think that's pretty awesome because him and the once in a generation Zion Williamson, them two together would be scary, Victor Rembignana is also considered a freak of nature, he could be a unicorn, he could shoot, he got ball handling skills, his defense is insane, he's like what, 7'2", the only thing is he's a little frail, but it doesn't matter with his defense and we're gonna pair him up with zion williamson today we have brandon ingram those are gonna be our three stars cj mccullum we got traded here so we're gonna see what we could do with them in the meantime we need to find a new point guard i actually drafted dyson daniels in the 2022 draft hopefully we can groom him to be the point guard if not we got to make some trades jackson hayes is here we're gonna see what we could do with him for another year or two larry nance you guys know the roster we also drafted Mara, max christie in the second round but all right it's time to get started we need to go to the draft lottery, see where the draft picks are, and then we need to trade up to get Victor Rembignana, because he's definitely going to go first overall, and we do not have the first overall pick, but we do have a lot of assets to move up to get him. Here we go now, draft lottery. We have no picks on the board. Oh, we do? We have the Lakers pick at number six. I didn't even see that. What? We don't even have to move assets to trade up for him. Okay. All right. All right. This rebuild is already starting off amazing. Okay. 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 What? You got, I can't even rig this. You guys watched that happen. I did nothing. You guys saw that happen. Wow. 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 Give us an A training video. Wow. 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 Yeah. All right. Willie Green, you'll be a head coach for now. We'll see what happens, because we got the first overall pick, man. There's no excuses, bro. We about to become a dynasty. With the 2023 NBA Draft, first overall pick, we are taking Victor Rembenyama. And like I said, I hope I'm saying it correct. If not, I'm just saying Victor for the rest of this rebuild, just to make sure then. Do we have another pick, actually? We don't. So why is it saying sim to use to pick? Okay, that's odd. It still says it, but we don't have another pick. We don't. Okay. All right. We got our guy. No need to watch the rest of the draft. I mean, we could watch the rest of the draft, see what happens. I'm actually a little bit interested to see what's going to happen. We'll finish out the, the lottery, and then we'll uh, jump from there. The last pick in the lottery, my New York Knicks select Usman Niendiannia. However you say the name. All right, sim to end. We got our guy. We didn't even have to trade up. Like, that's the best part about it. We just straight up got lucky in the lottery. Like, is it lucky? Is it rigged for the Pelicans? Who knows? How does this keep happening for them? But all right, we're going to bring everybody back. Because we can still make a trade. Now that I didn't have to trade up for him, we still have assets to make moves. Jackson Hayes and Zion. You already know you guys are coming back. Like, come on. Don't play any games. Zion got offers. Yeah. We're going to give you your money. We're not going to play games with you. Five years. What do you say to that, buddy? You say no. Okay. All right. Just to make sure nothing's going to happen. Let's go make a trade. To be honest, in my mind, there's somebody I want to see. Like, he's riding away on the bench. And we could use him to be our point guard, to be honest. One person I was thinking of was RJ Hampton. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Because he didn't even play for them last season. He has a good shot tendency. 68. Definitely can shoot. Passing is all right. And thing is, too, in real life, he grew to 6'6". Six, six. So I'd move him to 6'6". Six, six, so he'd be 6'6". Six, six point guard for his offensive consistencies there. And like I said, they're not even playing him. Speed is 92, 93. 
yeah we definitely gonna make a move for rj hampton my other option i was thinking of was my boy killian hayes you know my last name is hay his last name is hayes you know we cousins i'm gonna just go ahead with that so i thought about getting killian hayes that would have been a good option too 53 shot tendency but seeing that you know our boy rj hampton could shoot i mean you could kind of shoot and you're lefty well your passing is at 87 your passing is actually way better but you're not as consistent okay interesting do we go for the guy that's passing is way better i mean we need passing on this team we don't need scoring really so all right i think i might make the move for killian hayes i mean low key we just send him to because he gets scoring and we get some passing we send him to the combo guard camp all right we're gonna make the move for rj hampton he didn't even play last season we're sending him to the combo guard camp too and then that way i could get killian hayes in another rebuild we'll give you guys Devontae graham straight up what do you say to this they want a second round pick and that's all all right say less just like that we got rj hampton and like i said i'm gonna move him to point guard and he's gonna be 6'6 first give him his headband he looks weird without it all right give him some accessories body we'll move him to 6'6 now like i said in real life he moved to 6'6 you guys can check the orlando magic um training camp roster and we're gonna move you to point guard so now you're gonna be our new starting point guard so Dyson Daniels off the bench. We're gonna have RJ Hampton, Dyson Daniels, CJ McCollum. That's three right there. Brandon Ingram, Zion four five is Herbert Jones. Then six. We gotta get Jackson Hayes. Alright, let me just get everybody back first, and then we can see what the roster is gonna look like. Larry Nance, and then we can bring Larry Nance back now. We just had to get rid of him. Alright, bet perfect. One two three four five six seven eight nine. Alright, I catch you guys at the start of the season. In your lineup for this season, we got RJ Hampton at point guard, CJ McCollum at the two, Brandon Ingram at the three, Zion Williamson at the four, then we got Victor Rembignano at the five, Herbert Jones is a sixth man, with Jackson Hayes off the bench, Dyson Daniels, and Trey Murphy. We set the scoring options for Brandon Ingram to be first, Zion Williamson second, and then Victor Rembignano to be third. And then system proficiency, we're looking pretty nice at seven seconds. Anything else is like balance, but looking at the star players, that green bar goes up for seven seconds. So I, right, I catch you guys at the end of the season or if an injury happens. And right before the playoffs, fractured right arm, Zion Williamson, bro. You for real right now? This is, this is a real life thing. So I guess, uh, man, cancel. Um, We're going to move. Uh, this is tough. I was not prepared for this. I mean, Jabari Parker, might be time for you to go get your bucket. Trey Murphy's averaging this. Okay, and then what are you averaging, Herbert? Ah, this is tough. This is tough. All right, we'll risk it for now. We're going to go with Jabari Parker. Symptom right here to the end. And we lost. What would you do, Jabari? Seven points, five rebounds. Okay, it's not bad. It's not bad. Looking at the standings, though. We are second in the uh, West. And honestly, without Zion, that might have just killed our chances. Looking at the player stats, Zion was leading the way with 27 points, only 26 points, 11 rebounds, 4 assists, shooting 65%. Brandon Ingram with 19.6 rebounds, 4 assists. Victor Rembignana, 18 points, 8 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 blocks, shooting 36% from 3. That's what we needed right next to Zion. Somebody had to like, stretch the floor and also defend the paint right next to him, so that's perfect. Then we got CJ McCollum taking a dip because, you know, you just saw Victor Rembignana's numbers. We got 12 points and 4 assists from CJ McCollum. Then RJ Hampton, our new starting point guard. Look at those shooting numbers. He averaged 11 points, 4 assists, but 51%, 48 from 3. Like, were you shooting 3s or were you just... He was shooting threes. Jackson Hayes off the bench, 8.6 rebounds. Dyson Daniels now, 8 points, 4 assists. Shooting numbers got a little bit better. I mean, well, I lied. Not that three. Just looked at the field goal overall. But all right, so Herbert Jones and Trey Murphy already saw. And then Jabari Parker. Going into the playoffs is going to be tough. Two L's in a row. Paolo Boncaro did not win MVP his second year. What in the world? You couldn't do that for me in the Raptors video? I mean, hey, we still won a championship, but you couldn't win MVP for me? That's nuts. Victor Rembignano, we won Rookie of the Year. 
Jalen Brunson's your sixth man. Anthony Davis is your defensive player of the year. Then we got Jalen Green as your most improved player, averaging 18 points, four rebounds, three assists. Do we have anybody? Chet Holmgren and Paolo made it in the second year to the All-NBA first team. All right. We got Zion Williamson right there and Benedict Matthews. I mean, Matherin, where did you? Wow. What? Okay, I need to draft him sometime. All right. Let's simulate the play-in tournament. This is going to be tough. We're facing the Houston Rockets. We just saw Jalen Green's the most improved player. They got Ty Ty Washington. They also drafted Kendall Brown. Kyle Kuzma's there. Robert Williams. Spencer Dinwiddie. Cameron Johnson. Okay. They, they low-key got a squad. Not going to lie to you. They take game one. Yeah, without Zion, I'm not going to lie. Like I said, I mean, we got people. Like, Brandon Ingram should be able to step up right now. Lead us to the second round, at least. Or not. Or not. That, that's cool. That's cool. Come on. Reverse psychology. There we go. Victor Rambignano stepping up. All right. Maybe we got to make you the first scoring option. I mean, I did that last time for the last rebuild. It was Scoot. Not Scoot. Paolo. Okay. Okay. Don't call it a comeback yet. Don't call it a comeback yet. Hey. Game seven at home. Really? Really? Game seven at home for you guys to smoke this game? All right. We're coming back. We need Zion. Carmelo and LeBron going out on two weird teams. Okay. Definitely, definitely odd. Staff retirement. Hall of Fame. Wow, I didn't even peep Curry retired. Wait, he did? Derrick Rose. Yeah, wow. Okay, so the NBA is going to look completely different. This is the first time I've seen this ever where all of them retired at the same time. Draft lottery. We don't have any picks. I mean, we should have a pick. Maybe. Pelicans have a lot of picks. All right, so yeah, they have the Lakers pick right there. Pick 14. No way we bump up again, right? All right, we're stuck at 14. All right. Now we can make some moves. Like, maybe new head coach might be the way. We didn't do that bad, but there's no reason we should have blown a lead, even without Zion. So now looking at a new head coach, does that mean LeBron's going to be a head coach next season? I mean, hey, maybe we tank one season. We got Doc Rivers. Mm, I don't know. Doc Rivers blows a lot of game sevens. We just did that. Billy Donovan's not bad. Maybe we give Billy Donovan a one-year shot or Mike Malone, Jeff Hornacek. Jeff Honisek is good at 7 seconds. We'll give him a one-year shot until LeBron gets there. That's what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Once LeBron gets there, it's a wrap for him. And then Benjamin Walker. Yo, those ratings are perfect. So, all right, we out. We're going to go ahead and sim top pick in the draft. And then to go ahead and take a look at the draft summary. Normally, I don't do that. But we're going to go ahead and look. I want to get to Victor Mbignan and Zion. I mean, whoa, 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 whoa. There's, a, there's some names I didn't. Okay, there's Bronny right there. But there's some names I didn't see. So if we go to choose prospect, like McKenzie, right there, McKenzie, whatever. So I can't pronounce his name. So 77 overall. Last time we got Mikey Williams. I mean, that means we could move on from CJ McCollum, actually. Have Mikey. Because at the small forward position, we already got Brandon Ingram. Off the bench, we got Herbert Jones and Trey Murphy. So it doesn't make sense to get another... But then we also have Dyson Daniels off the bench. So it doesn't make sense to get Mikey either. But the dude's a 77 overall. So we just go go. I mean, ah, Mikey. It's Mikey Williams. And like I said, that means maybe we can move on from CJ McCollum. Now we're going to win with CJ McCollum. McKenzie, we're just going to add you to the bench, my guy. Sim to use a pick. We have another pick. All right, pick 21 or 22. And I did say we need another point guard. So, Kylan, I mean, I did just draft you last time, but I don't think I ended up using you. Or did we face you? I don't think I drafted you. And then we have another pick. All right, we have mad picks. And then Jazair Jackson. You never got to go with the bigs. All right, so we like up RJ Hampton to be our full time point guard for the future. And then Herbert Jones, my guy, you're here for the long run too. So we get you back, load that, five years, 10 mil. And we got our two guys back. Willie Hunter and Gomez, unfortunately, we won't be needing you back now that we got another center. Kyra Lewis, I wasn't a big fan of. He didn't really do anything. Max Christie could come back on a qualifying offer. 
go ahead and get ourselves another point guard in case somebody gets hurt. If we get ourselves a Trey Jones and Zion. Okay, yep, have to. Flat, five. We got our point guard. Any lineup for this season is RJ Hampton at the one. We're giving CJ McCollum way less minutes. We got Brandon Ingram at the three, Zion at the four. Victor at the five. Then we got Dyson Daniels as the sixth man. Herbert Jones. But wait, Dyson Daniels is getting way more minutes too. Close to like full time minutes. Then we got Jackson Hayes off the bench and then Trey Murphy. Looking at the scoring options, we got to set them again for Brandon Ingram, Zion Williamson, and Victor Rambignana. We want to shoot at will and play physical defense. System proficiency, he's already good at seven seconds, so we're good there. I just want to go ahead and look around, see if there's anything else, maybe. All right, so no, that's it. I catch you guys at the end of the season or if somebody gets hurt again. And with the fully healthy roster, we finished 64 and 17. That's got to be the best in the NBA. Don't play me this time. Oh, yeah, by far. The East only had 49 wins. Nobody even broke 50 over there. Looking at the player stats, Zion had 26 points, 11 rebounds, 4 assists, shooting 70, uh, 67%. Victor Wembanyama took the jump this season. 22 points, 10 rebounds, 4 assists, 1 steal, 3 blocks, 48%, 41 from 3. Oh my goodness. The Brandon Ingram with 18 points, 6 rebounds, 5 assists. Wow. RJ Hampton, 12 points, 5 assists. Shooting with, uh, I mean, close to 50%. Not like the 48% he shot from. I mean, 47 he shot from 3 last season, but it's all right. CJ McCullum with 10 points, 5 assists. Then off the bench, we got Dyson Daniels with 10 points, 5 assists. He's going to come into uh, his own next season. Might make him start a shooting guard if we don't win the championship. Then we got Jackson Hayes off the bench with 8 points, 5 rebounds. And then Kylan Boswell played some when somebody got hurt. Trey Murphy averaged 7 points for uh, 3 rebounds. He shot perfect though. 45% 39 from 3. 94 from the line. That's what we needed. Then Herbert Jones, 6 points, 3 rebounds, 1 assist. But you already know, he's out there providing a defense. I should have put his shot tendency for 3 higher. I mean, the higher because, you know, it's 85-3. And he attempted no 3s his whole entire rebuild. But it's okay. Rig need, like, we need to go out and win. Like, ah, I'm not focused on anything else but winning. Victor Wembanyama. I was talking about how the... Power won MVP in his second year. We got Victor Wembanyama winning MVP in his second year. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Then Kalel Wire, Kalel Ware winning rookie of the year. Six man is James Harden already. Sheesh. Giannis Antetokounmpo, defense player of the year. The most improved is Saban Lee. Jeff Hornacek, ah, guy, rookie of the year. I'm coach of the year. I brought you as a one year rental. Then look at you bringing us to the best record in the NBA. We got Victor and Zion on the All NBA first team. On NBA third team, can we get one more person? I right, no, 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 but it's all right. We need to focus, like I said, on the playoffs. We here, we're facing the Sacramento Kings, who have De'Aaron Fox, Asara Thompson, Cameron Fletcher, Chet Holmgren, Rashawn Holmes, Davion Mitchell. They brought back Marvin Bagley. I'm so weak. All right, come on, guys, let's let's go ahead and beat this team. They brought back Marvin Bagley after making all that noise about him. They took another game. I mean, they took a game. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We can't be doing that now. We had 64 wins this season, guys. We can't lose to any team right now. We're facing the OKC with DJ Wagner, Josh Giddy, Javante Taylor, Omaha Bilou, Derek Favors, Shea Gilgis off the bench. Might be a little scary. They have an 89 off the bench. Why are you guys doing that? I don't know. Maybe they switched up to face us, thinking now it's going to do something. But I'm the CJ, no! Bro, we can't get hurt in the playoffs. You can't get hurt in the playoffs. We can't get hurt in the playoffs. You did pretty well when you played. How tall are you? 6'1", we're going to switch you to. All right. We can't be doing this now. And then we're going to go ahead and face Minnesota. Who does Minnesota have? D'Angelo, Benedict. They got... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. It's this squad. They got DeAndre Ayton instead of Cat. Was it a trade? Or, hold up, hold up. Was it a trade or was it just a straight up signing? It was just a straight up signing. Wait, wait. Okay, Lonzo. I thought that was LaMelo. All right. Come on, come on, come on. We could beat them. They don't got call empty towns. Like, we could beat them. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. CJ McCullum, you're back. Boswell not doing that bad, but we're going to bring CJ back. We have to. Whoa, whoa. Not at point, though. Not at point. Our boy RJ Hampton doing pretty well. So, oh, he's shooting 50, 40. I didn't see. Probably 60% from three. But, I mean, from free throw. But it's all right. 
Whoa, they took a game. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, we in the NBA Finals. Let's go, guys. We're facing Atlanta Hawks. We have Trey Young, Devontae DiVincenzo, Matas Buzilis. I I'm sorry if I said that wrong. John Collins, Anyeka. They got Sharif Cooper. What's he averaging? Because sometimes they don't play. Oh, he's actually doing pretty well. Then they got Drew Holiday, Jalen Johnson. All right, I'm not saying, like, yo, we should smoke them. But I ain't going to lie, guys. I ain't trying to take no L's. And here we go. New Orleans Pelicans, Victor Wembignana. I think we just got you guys your first championship. I'm saying this, yeah, because I'm confident we're going to... Oh, okay. Hmm. All right, let's try this again. We wanted to just win at home. That's all, gentlemen. All right. Like I said, we're going to go ahead and jump in, get some gameplay real quick, guys. Hopefully, we catch the dub. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. This was a quick little video for VJ, Victor, Wembenyalo, New Orleans Pelicans. And, yo, as you can see, it clearly was a match made in heaven. The Pelicans really do need to do this. I got lucky in the lottery. Maybe the Pelicans won't get as lucky as I did and, you know, jump up. What is it? Six picks? But, hey, we can see what could happen. Let me switch this real quick. We see the man, the myth, the legend on the court already. But where's Zion? Did Zion foul out? He probably did. It's that type of thing with Zion. He hurt or he fouled out. Whatever it is, he's just not in the game. Okay, Ingram. Okay, Ingram. Okay, trying to ice this game. Trying to put it away. Let's go. Trey Young and Sharif Cooper out there together is asking for trouble. As I'm like, bro, we're eating. Like, they cannot play defense. That is a bad. Oh, I really wish Trey Young went up so Victor and Bignana could swat at that. All right, Ingram, what we got? What we got? Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Ingram, this ain't your video, bro. This is Rick, Victor and Bignana's video. I need you to chillax. I mean, he's not trying to chill. Like, he's player of the game. My fault. My fault. My fault. My fault. Go ahead and do you, bro. All right, there we go. We got Zion. He didn't fall out. I'm sorry for talking that smack. Did it say he was hurt? Oh, no. That dude was hurt. I was about to say, Zion, you are hurt? Of course you are. I heard him block this. Let's go, Victor. I just called it. He really did it. Oh, yeah. Bring the ball up. Point guard. Are they going to pass the Ingo? Because Ingo's player of the game. Okay, pass it out. Selfish. Can we get another block real quick? Can we get another block real quick? Go in the paint. I dare you. Go in the paint. I dare you. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? The paint is on lock. Stop it. But come on, bro. You ain't see Victor there? You're bugging. My boy's a whole 7 2 giant. I don't know how you ain't see him there. Nice block. Hurry up. Make this free throw. Let's ice this game. Get out of here, guys. Let's get out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think and what video you guys want to see next. Yo, I might do a Victor Wimbanyana career sim because this guy won MVP his second year. What else could he do if he continued simming on the rest of his career? Same thing with Bronny, I was thinking Mikey Williams, all these guys, but Victor Wembanyama especially, and Paolo Boncaro, those might be the first two career sims I do, then maybe Chet Holmgren. But like I said, let me know down below what you guys want to see. It's your boy T2Awesome, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.
Tell me why do I gotta do better? You never knew, knew better. Light skin pushed to the side, dark hair, she go, shorty my, shorty my style. Uh, top down, shorty.